I'm Matt Pichard with NareachReit.com here in New York City for REIT Week 2015, NareEach Investor Forum. Joining me for this CEO Spotlight is Stuart Tans, President and CEO of Retail Opportunity Investments Corporation. Stuart, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Your company is enjoying strong operating results so far in 2015. What are driving those results? Number one, the markets uh, out west and the fundamentals out west have been very strong, and that's helping us drive our operating results. Number two is our necessity-based focus. Uh, we buy grocery drug anchored shopping centers, and that owning that product type uh, has been uh, has, has created a lot of demand uh, in terms of tenant demand as well as sales um, in terms of sales. So that's helped us in terms of our operating results. And the third, of course, is our operating platform. I mean, the, the, the team at ROIC has operated on the West Coast now for close to 30 years. Uh, and we understand the markets, the tenant base, uh, and the moving pieces as it relates to building value for shareholders. So that has also contributed uh, in a big way to our operating results. ROIC has been active in the acquisitions market. Why is now a good time to be a buyer? Well, we have been very active. This has been a growth story. In fact, over the last 18 months, we've acquired close to a billion dollars uh, of shopping centers. The reason why um, the West Coast continues to be a, a great, for us, a great area to keep expanding in is because the, um, the market out West uh, continues to be very strong in terms of the fundamentals. Um, the, uh, the reason why uh, the pipeline looks very strong in terms of uh, what we're seeing out there, uh, and there's been no supply in the market. So all of that has continued to drive growth for us, um, but more importantly, it's really the fact that um, the company with our relationships has the ability to keep growing the company smartly. And your company tends to focus on tenants that, that provide, provide necessities to consumers. What are the, the pros and cons of being in that type of business in a healthy economy versus in a downturn? Well, historically, when you look at uh, the necessity-based retailing, it has held up the best in terms of the retail segment, good or bad times. Uh, and for us, being necessity-based retail, what we've always found is that, uh, that people have to eat. Uh, they, they need these basic necessities. And so, you know, occupancy tends to hold up very well. Sales tend to trend, uh, you know, in, in some cases they, they go down, but, but during the tough times, they tend to hold very steady. And more importantly, that in, during the good times, uh, sales tend to trend up very nicely. Uh, so all in all, it's, it's, it's a great part of the uh, segment of the retail industry. More importantly, it's the most defensive part of the industry given the long-term nature of the grocery stores and the drug stores. Stuart, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.